Hi guys, I'm Yes or No. All my friends have been telling me I am not exploiting the city enough. So here I am, exploiting my environment for my own financial gain. Being a good capitalist. And it got dark. We're gonna have to go find somewhere else to do this. Y'all, on my way out of Times Square, I literally broke the microphone. <laughs> right, it just came, it came, it came unhinged. Anywho, the question is, New York City, is it worth it? Wow, that's a great question. I mean, I guess it just depends on what you want. Do you want space to live in? You're not gonna get that here. <laughs> but if what you're looking for is a whole bunch of fun and a ton of things in a very, very condensed space, that's what this place is made for, essentially. I really can't walk, talk, and hold this microphone at the same time. We're going home, we're fixing this, then we're gonna sit down and go more in depth. Oh yeah, we crazy glued it. And now it's crazy glued together. Oh yeah. Ooh. All right, YouTube, same face, new place. Let's go. So obviously what a lot of you want to know when you ask, is New York City worth it, is, is it a good return on investment? If I come here, will I be draining all my money and not really squeezing all the juice out of this New York City lemon that I want to? Basically what I found in order to live here and not totally hate my life, you need somewhere at least around $40,000. That's me personally, but I also do like a little bit of, what does my dad say? I like a little bit of that champagne taste on a shoestring budget. You gotta work what you got, hey. You gotta work what you got. But the thing is, is when I think about whether or not New York City's worth it, I don't always think about the costs. I think more about what is here and what are my goals. I heard somebody say it once that you can essentially carve out whatever life you want to in New York City, right? Because there is so much abundance here whether it's abundance of things to do, abundance of people, abundance of opportunity, I mean, you name it. You can carve out whatever life you want. So for me personally, that life has involved doing sports like every single day, but there's also a way to carve out an artistic life or carve out a swimming life. Heck, they even have a sailing club on the Hudson. I mean, it's really like, who do you want to be here? because there's a way for you to be that person, unless that person is naturally outdoorsy, in which case, <laughs> this, is, this is not the city for you. This, this city is like a pile of trash sitting on trash. This is not, this is not where you come to see beautiful nature. <laughs> it's, it's where you come to see beautiful art. Is it art or is it Jenga? But I'll refocus back on work, jobs, and money, just because I know this is a big part of why people come here. I do think that there are endless opportunities in this city. And so I do think if that's what you're coming for, if you're ambitious, there's a way to make your dreams come true here. Another thing I once heard somebody say about this city is that you can basically walk around any corner and stumble upon an opportunity, bump into somebody and you, they're gonna have a connection to something somewhere, somewhere. Just to give you an example of some of the people I've met while I've been here, easy one right off the top of the bat is my bouldering partner was like an American Ninja Warrior, has been on that TV show. I met the editor of Reason Magazine, super libertarian magazine, and just like a week or two ago, I was literally in this apartment complex and I met a YouTuber whose relationship videos I watched. Now, for someone like me, I'm not going to be taking advantage of all the opportunities, right? Because I don't want all those things. I don't want to be a ninja warrior. I don't want to be a libertarian. <laughs> but like somebody like the YouTuber, yeah, I'm going to reach out because what a great opportunity. And you don't get that when you're sitting in the middle of suburbia in the middle of America. And I know that because I've been there, lived that. Now, just to add some nuance to this discussion though, the internet did not exist in the form that it did when I was a kid living in suburbia, right? So there are certain things that the internet makes possible that you no longer have to live in a big city to have. And so if one of your goals is to save money, to hoard it away, then yeah, potentially it would make sense to just move to like a nomad's paradise, live the good life while you're growing things, and then move wherever you want when you have all the money to spend. But let's get personal, shall we? Let's get personal, personal. So I think part of the reason I think the city is so worth it is because I told myself that. 
as soon as I got here. And that sounds so stupid when you say it, like, oh, if you think it's gonna be worth it, then it's gonna be worth it. But no, mindset is a big deal. So if you go into a place and start telling yourself how much you hate it and start looking for all the things that suck, that's what that place is gonna be. I am not gonna focus on the people here who are rude. I am not gonna focus on how cold it is during winter. I am not gonna focus on how <laughs> crazy the subway gets. <laughs> you know, a ton people have been dying on these subways lately. Have you been reading the news? Actually, fun fact, there is an app. I don't know if it's like called the Citizens app or something, I don't know, but there is an app that basically tells you where all the crime is happening in New York City <laughs> at all times. And you can like apparently click on it and like see the crime happening in real time. Crazy. But no, I wanna know where stuff is going right in this city. So I download the apps to get me the free to cheat meals. I download the apps that tell me how to get to the places I wanna be and be the person I'm destined to be. Really, Google is my main app. So yeah, that's what I do in New York. I just look around and I look at the things that there are to love. Like I love the fact that I live near a place with $3 beers and free hot dogs. I love the fact that my neighborhood is super well connected so I can get anywhere in the city in 20 minutes or less. You talk about is it worth it? To somebody who doesn't like transit times, if you have a place where you can get anywhere in 20 minutes or less, heck yes, this city might be worth it for you. Or if you don't like to drive cars. So this is a place where every opportunity is at your fingertips, but you do need the mindset to take advantage of that. And on that note, I'm going to go take advantage of the fact that we are half a block away from my library, and I'm gonna go pick up the books that I put on hold. I'm Yes or No, and if you'd like to donate to my Patreon, you can do so down below. And if you would like to watch more videos or do more things on the channel, go do that now.